So back in March, I had to say goodbye to the snow. A long season of calm and quiet came to an end. But with anything in life, when you let go of something, inevitably something new comes in its place. The world all of a sudden became so green again. And it felt like the possibilities in life were endless. The cold, dark winter quickly transitioned to a beautiful, lush green forest. The yellow wildflowers started to bloom, marking the beginning of the warm season. But with anything in life, nothing is permanent. Most of the yellow flowers have died and lost their leaves, and I had to say goodbye to that as well. But really, nature teaches us one of the most important lessons of non-attachment. You can never get too attached to its beauty because it's constantly changing. Same with our life, we can never get too attached to it because it will always change. Saying goodbye to the yellow wildflowers was hard, but I know that something new is coming and I'm just really excited to see what that is. Yeah, welcome to spring. <laughs> Gorgeous morning out today. Oh my gosh. It was very cold last night, but it's starting to get a little bit warmer. Very early spring this year, like it's been 70 degrees every day during the day, but it gets down to like almost freezing at night. So kind of slept in this morning because last night some friends came over and we had a big fire and just all talked until very late into the evening. It was very lovely and yeah, I probably didn't get to bed until like 1 or 2 a.m., which is extremely late for me. <laughs> but anyways, time to get some work done this morning. I'm going into town. I gotta buy some pier blocks. I'm gonna finish building this deck this next couple weeks. But first I need to measure how many pier blocks I need. I don't even know how big this deck is gonna be, but whatever. I don't know how far it's gonna extend. Maybe out to here. Okay, so the deck's gonna extend, I think, out to here. I'm gonna put the pier block six feet apart, which means... Uh... Okay, I just got the pier blocks. Raquel just called me. She said she wants to go run around the mountains. So we're going to take a detour and meet her before I go home. You are always late. Explain yourself. I got your kombucha. Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet. Okay, I forgive you. <laughs> How are you feeling, Raquel? I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling good too. I'm feeling so good, it smells. We didn't expect to hike today. It was kind of last minute. So I'm wearing my overalls. I'm a little hot, but this is really something. Oh, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. I really have never seen oh, anything like this before. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you just think of that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, me and Raquel are just sitting up here on this gorgeous mountain. It's gorgeous. It really, I think this honestly is the most beautiful. This isn't even like a hike. It's just like it's a- It's easy. Yeah. Walk. We were saying earlier how like everything that happens to us is just so magical all the time. <laughs> Every time we're together. I know. Even how we met. I know, I know. <laughs> we were like, I had taken a break from working and when I came back to work at the grocery store, somebody told me, they were like, this new girl started working and she makes music. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna find this girl. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be friends with her for sure. <laughs> so like the first day I just like looked at her and I was like, oh, I gotta talk to her. And I was like so nervous to talk to you. I was nervous. <laughs> so nervous to talk to you. I just like kept like thinking, okay, when am I gonna do it? And then I just like walked up to her and I was like, hey Raquel, do you wanna come over today <laughs> and sing a song? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come, I'll come over. <laughs> I know you were like, sure. I was like, oh, oh my God. And then I was like, we were just standing at the counter like, Wait, there was nobody there, no customers. I know. We were just like hanging out on the counter. I was like, what are you for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> that was like the first little thing I learned about I you. Know. I think you just said, I think you said oats. Mm -hmm. I think that day you had an orange for breakfast though. And I was uh -huh. like, huh, that's a nice breakfast. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing right now is digging out all the organic material. When I put the pier blocks down for the house, I actually dug out the organic material but then replaced it with gravel because the gravel prevents it from sinking into the ground and then your house would be like uneven. But since the deck isn't so heavy like a house, I'm just gonna dig out the organic material and then just set it the pier blocks on that. Hopefully it'll be fine. jump in the river after this and then I really need to get working on this deck I can't finish it though because I'm gonna mill the wood for the deck um, but you need two people it's a saw that kind of cuts through a log and you need a person on either side so I'll have to wait for someone to come out here to help this Sun and the breeze right now feels good. It is such a windy day today. <laughs> Storm must be coming. I'm currently threading the loom. I'm making a, maybe like a poncho kind of thing. I'm not really sure if it's gonna turn out, but I wanted to make something for my mom for Mother's Day and I don't know. I, maybe she'll like this, maybe she won't. <laughs> this spring has just been so windy.
Get all situated here. We are going on an adventure this morning. Driving up the road about, I think it's like a 20 minute drive up the road. There's a little hike you can take to a waterfall. I'm a little nervous that there's still gonna be snow up there. We're gonna take our chances because I really wanna leave the farm and go on an adventure and this sounds really fun and really necessary right now. <laughs> okay. Was a long month day to say come wrote it down in a song Paradise lost but Paradise found it all comes back around it goes on, on, on. So I'm currently making a pumpkin soup right now. Also like cooking with things like 
pumpkin and potatoes and just things that like last a long time in cold storage just because I really don't often go to the grocery store. I don't know, it's probably like once every 10 days I'll go to the grocery store. So as often as I can, I cook with things like pumpkin because like this stays good in your pantry for months, you know? currently doing some reading about beekeeping because like three months ago or so I was at the farm store and I put in an order for a nook of honeybees and they told me that they're going to be ready this week at any point so I'm trying to prepare myself a little bit I kept bees for a couple years in high school. We had one good harvest year, but I didn't really know what I was doing, to be honest. And this time, I want to be more prepared. Bees are a very important part of a farm because they pollinate things, and they are quickly and rapidly declining in population. It's about 5.30 in the morning and the sunrise is just so incredible. And it just feels like I have this moment all to myself because no one in the world is awake. <laughs> well, at least around here, no one's awake. Except for that rooster. And the birds. Ugh, oh, these clouds. Gosh, it's beautiful. It's cold though, I will say. These days, it's been a little chilly. Good thing I got my cape. <laughs> okay, so I just finished the first piece. Took me like three more hours this morning to do. After this, I'm gonna start threading the second piece. And then we're done. <laughs> I'm really excited though to give this to my mom because she deserves it. She is like the most loving, supportive, beautiful human that exists in my life and I just want to give her something really lovely. Wow, this looks awesome. Okay. I'm still definitely a beginner weaver. I haven't been weaving for that long. Um, I started probably about a year and a half ago. I was living in the city, hating my life working a lot, saving up to build this tiny house. And I bought this loom secondhand from somebody. And I read a couple books about weaving and just kind of taught myself how to weave. A pretty consistent goal of mine is to become more self-reliant. To be able to do things myself um, is definitely a passion. And when I moved out here, there was an old woman up in these mountains who was selling her spinning wheel because she got arthritis in her hands and couldn't spin anymore. So she sold me her wheel and that's when I learned to spin, which was probably, really wasn't that long ago, it was about maybe nine months ago I started to learn to spin. It took me pretty much all winter to get okay at it. I'm still not that good but I'm okay.
probably the first evening this week where there's like literally no wind at all. So I'm gonna walk up to the top of the mountain and watch the sunset. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. And it just feels like a very calm, peaceful evening. Not too cold. Good. Just like the river you go on. Okay, I take back what I said earlier. It's a bit windy up here, but oh my god. The sky is so gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> ah. This world is amazing. Okay, so I was inside the grocery store and I got a call that my bees are ready. <laughs> so, I'm about to go pick up 8,000 bees. <laughs> oh gosh, what did I get myself into here? I don't want that. 90% of me is terrified. 10% of me is excited. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's a lot of bees. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can brush off some of the stragglers here. Oh, yeah, that would be really nice. Sorry, gotta go. Please don't get mad at me. Hey. I don't want to be stung while driving. That would be not fun. Oh. Would be not fun. Um. <laughs> oh. Uh, should I like get ready to close to it? close yeah. it? Uh oh, there they're going in. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm ready to close it. I'll okay. have the key right here. Okay. Made it back home. Only one minor thing happened, the box tipped over, but luckily no bees flew out. So thank God for that. So I got my bees in here. I'm just gonna spray some of the panels a little bit with this sugar water because then it will like help them want to go into the hive more because I'm gonna dump them in here and yeah. It's a risk that they won't make their home in here but most likely they will. I'm not sure why but there's a bunch of like rogue honeybees that came from the wild that want to join up and they're kind of hanging out on the outside which isn't the most helpful but you know we're gonna forget about that i'm just trying to tap down the bees so they go to the bottom here they're not really loving this A 
lot of bees escaped when I got the queen out. I took the queen out and basically now I'm going to put the queen in here. Okay, so I've got the queen in the box. This is kind of the stressful part because I'm going to dump the bees into there. And yeah, there's already bees all over me and I'm just feeling a little bit nervous, but you know, that's all we can do right now. I'm going to spray them a little bit more just to calm them down a bit because they're kind of a little agitated, obviously because I'm moving them. It's moving day, guys. I woke up this morning pretty early at like 4.30 and started working on this because I want to try to get it done today because I'm giving it to my mom tomorrow. And I realized when I woke up that I just threaded it so wrong. And so I'm trying to fix the threading, but I don't really know. I'm not sure if it's going to work exactly. What happens is if any of these threads here are different tightnesses, if one's maybe looser than another one, it makes it almost impossible to get this thing through. So that's basically what happened. There was a lot of loose ones, but then some really tight ones and getting this through the thing was taking forever. I mean, this right here, just this amount took me like, I don't know, maybe five hours yesterday. And I got like nothing done. Having a little smoothie this morning and oh gosh it's such a beautiful day I've been drinking smoothies almost every morning these days it's just so hot my parents are visiting the next couple days so I think I'm going to going to make something for my mom today Finally almost done with this shawl. This has been such a project. <laughs> but life got in the way, I guess. Kept getting distracted with other things like waterfalls and bees. <laughs> but we're almost done here. Just sewing it up and then that's it.
Okay, so this shawl finished drying. I'm just going to try it on really quick because I have no idea if it's going to look okay. I just kind of had the idea of this pattern in my head, so... Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Look at this! Oh, this is awesome. I think my mom's going to love this. Oh, this is really cozy. Mm-hmm. Good. Approval. Yes. Don't look in the basket yet. This is my birthday present? Well, birthday and Mother's Day. Your side. Hey. Sorry, which side is longer? This, yeah. So it goes like this. So put your head in there. Okay. <laughs> Alexa, look. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's great. I wish I had a mirror. It actually looks really good on you. You know, it, it smells. Does. It smells like a like a sheep. I know. <laughs> oh my god. It does. You can wear it yeah. around the fire and stuff. Here, have this. This is for you. Yeah, I would oh, want thank you. Caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That is so nice. I know. I can't believe you made that. Alexa can share it with me. Thank you. It's so great. Oh, oh my God. Really I didn't know if you were going to wear a Thank poncho. You. I was a little nervous about it. Thank you. That's so sweet. You want to share it with me? Like the river, it goes on and it goes on, 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 on. Mm -hmm. just like the river, it goes on. Thank you. 